You've likely seen the work going on around University Circle or here on the west side. What we're doing is giving you a peek behind the curtain, or in this case, under the city. It's part of Project Clean Lake, a $3 billion plan to dig a series of seven massive tunnels under Greater Cleveland, two to seven miles in length, that will be able to hold untreated water during a storm that could be pumped out and treated after. This is the Westerly Tunnel being dug 200 feet below Scranton Road in the flats that will stretch two miles under Tremont in Ohio City. You'll see our second shaft over by the Harp, just on the south side of the shoreway by West 45th Street. And then the tunnel will be completed just a little bit north of the Soapbox Derby on the north side of the shoreway. Cleveland sewers carry both the waste from our homes and that which goes down the drains in our streets. During a storm, the volume is too great for the system to handle resulting in about four and a half billion gallons of the untreated mix being released into the river and lake each year. This 25-year federally mandated project will get that down to about a half billion. This tunnel will help ease the discharges into the Cuyahoga River from this sewer, which dumps about 330 million gallons of untreated water each year into the Cuyahoga. That's the equivalent of the amount of water that flows over Niagara Falls in roughly seven and a half minutes. And by 2022, the goal is to have that 330 million gallons down to just about 15 million gallons. So it'll completely control everything and all except the biggest rainstorms. Of the seven storage tunnels in the project, one, Euclid Creek, came online last summer. The Dugway Storage Tunnel in Glenville will come online later this year. And the Doan Valley Tunnel is being dug right now under University Circle with this one. The Westerly set to start being mined in August. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5.